Theory and Practice of Silviculture, Lecture Number 19. In my previous lecture, we studied about the Indian Irregular Shelterwood Systems. In this lecture also, we are going to be having the same Indian Irregular Shelterwood System with other two examples. We studied about uh, the Shoria rubber stock, how it could come very nicely in Indian Irregular Shelterwood System. In here, we are going to study some two more things that is called how in the tropical rainforest, we will follow this Indian Irregular Shelterwood System. So, all together, every time, same thing as to say, silvical system, system follows harvesting, regeneration and tending. These are the three very important components, but how to do it, that is a pattern. With this pattern only, it differentiates your different silviculture systems. So, these are the cycles where we have to cautiously go for harvesting, how to go, go for harvesting, how many trees has to be harvested, then how many times it has to be harvested to get a very good regeneration. And after that regeneration, how we, we could go for tending operations and in and that tending operations, thinning is a very important component for those tending and after that ultimately we get a regeneration which we will get the produce of a mature tree species to be harvested again. So system of concentrated regeneration, this is the last topic on that one of Indian irregular shelterwood system under the shelterwood system we will study and then we will have system of diffuse re re regeneration and then accessory systems too. So, under Indian Irregular Shelterable System, again we will come to the topic that is called when we have to ha go for tropical rainforest. Tropical rainforest is a very complex system because the forest is been fully been grown with the full site factor is been used as one example I would like to tell about the tropical rainforest of Arunachal Pradesh where we it was recommended uh, earlier that selection felling would be better for the tropical rainforest in the past but regeneration didn't came when we did harvesting as i told you three things are there harvesting regeneration and tending when we did harvesting under the selection system the regeneration couldn't come so in all india tropical moist evergreen forest symposium 1960 they recommended to go for indian irregular shelterwood system for the tropical rainforest so all the tropical rainforest goes very nicely now for an example i would like to say now these forests are being worked under the indian irregular shelterwood system in arunachal pradesh in everywhere in tropical rainforest this would suit very nicely for the trees what we do trees of middle stories are not felled here as I told you, in the tropical rainforest, the very important thing is the fertility of the soil because heavy rainfall will leach all those nutrients beyond the reach of those roots of those well-grown trees. So that is very important. So what we do, we all the middle stories are not felled to control the weed growth, number one. Number two, in tropical rainforest, which have the richest soil in nature, and if you make a uniform heavy felling or we say the opening of the overwood, it will result in leaching. The trees of the middle story as you can see the middle story stories we are not felling down. This is a tropical rainforest and we are ha what we are doing 60 centimeter dia and above that one for the top canopy. Under this system all the trees above 60 centimeter dbh or 189 centimeter GBH of the top canopy is removed. So this uh, in the tropical rainforest we can see so big diameter which is ready for harvest and those trees above 60 centimeter diameter we can see to remove in one operations. Okay, so this is 60 centimeter diameter. Now this is very different here. Above 60 centimeter diameter we are removing it. Now when we remove it you can see the regeneration of principal species here is Dipterocarpus macrocarpus and then Shoria asamica. So we will find the seedlings and sapling stage are there where we can tend it and if it is not there we have to do some operations. Now this you can see we have cleared this strip of 1.2 meter wide after each 10 meter distance again we will clear these strips okay this is 1.2 meter wide strips. 1.2 meter wide strips. So, in that forest, it is a very dense forest. 
So what we'll do, we will clear this 1.2 meter wide like this clear strips will come again go 10 meter ahead again we'll make 1.2 meter wide strips and tend and supplement and then also do one thing we'll make some thalis and we'll try to make this uh, soil working here with the manually and then we sow here some seeds. Okay, we can sow here some seeds, six to eight seeds of Dipterocarpus, Macrocarpus uh, in thalis here. Uh, 1.8 meter part. Again, we'll go. Again, we'll plant. Or we can do planting of Shorea samika if it has been raised in nursery. Or we can put the seeds also there. So this way we can do this tending operation has to be carried out. Uh, first, I told you thinning. What we do uh, has to be carried out in the third year. Then we can follow the seven year. Then we can follow the ten year. Like this, we can keep on going on this one. So that is for the tropical moist uh, forest. Now this is a very famous or a very common question is to come in all the competitive exam. What is canopy lifting system in Andamans? So you can see if it is Andaman, it's not in an Andaman forest. Any forest which is looks similar like a tropical rainforest, it's a very thick forest. This is the forest of Arunachal Pradesh. So uh, canopy lifting systems in Andaman is a very famous question. Come under the Indian. This all are in the Indian irregular shatterwood system. So this is a common question comes in many of the exams. So we should understand it how it happens. It is called and Andaman canopy lifting shelterwood system. It is also called Andaman's canopy lifting shelterwood system. Means we have to lift the canopy now. Okay. So this is a very dense thick forest here. It is in a natural Pradesh. You can find very thick and everywhere, many places where we have a tropical rainforest, you find such type of forest. A very dense growth canopy closure difficult for the mixed species to region regenerate here so that is what now as we go in the higher we go for more skill more complex so we will understand the structure of that forest will have dominant layer on the top then intermediate layer will be there then will be a layer which are shade bearer then there is shade demander all the side is fully been packed no light enters on the lower side where regeneration regeneration is here and here where regeneration is here, we are not able to give light, then how we expect that there will be coming time, we'll have a good forest. We cannot have that forest because there will be no regeneration. When there no regeneration is there, how they will convert to sapling, then a pole, then a youth, young tree, then a big tree, then a mature tree. No, it's not possible. So here, you can see the top view for the canopy lifting. This canopy has to be lift. See, I, this is, for example, I've lifted the canopy. I'm not lifting, I've cut down the trees. So those trees has been harvested uh, as per the working plan. We are harvesting this one. So this will admit light inside the forest. This is the top view just to tell you an example after felling, after harvesting, this makes the light to enter inside it. We need to remove the top canopy. So the adequate light is diffused through the canopy for the regeneration and to promote the succulent growth for future. So, let's follow one by one all those steps. Number one, all what we'll do in canopy lifting system, just follow those rules and don't forget these things are very simple. All saleable trees, that is GBS, girth at breast height of 150 centimeter and above for hardwoods that is called angiosperms again i repeat trees of all angiosperms or hardwood of gbh girth at breast height above 150 centimeter will fell down then gbh of above 120 centimeter for all gymnosperms that is called softwoods will fell down and other trees which are above 180 centimeters for will fell down. So we can see these are the hardwoods. These are hardwood of 150 centimeter, for example. These are all other trees of 180 centimeter. This is for, for just for an examination point of view. We have to write all these things and uh, try to remember also. And this is a softwood of 120 centimeter GBS. This is conifers. This is uh, angiosperms and these are other trees remaining that miscellaneous trees or big big dipterocarpaceae, maybe angiosperm, maybe gymnosperms, which are more than 180 centimeter GBS. So these, 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 what we will do? We will fell. Now doing this one, you can see canopy has been lifted now. Doing this one, you can see canopy has been lifted. A good light has been admitted here. 
a very good light is here. Some the regeneration is there, some the regeneration is not there. If regeneration is here also, and if you don't fell those trees, what will happen? It will not let those seedlings to grow. So we need to fell. This is the first operation. Then second operation is all sound trees of commercial species. All sound trees of commercial species below the prescribed GBH mentioned above are left as advanced growth. So these are left as a advanced growth. This will be the future trees which will give a good girth crossing again 120, 150, 180 GBH. So you can see this felling has been done in that uh, canopy lifting system. So what we'll do, we will leave these trees which will be the future trees to grow up and already light has been admitted. Let's see once again, GBH 150 centimeter for hardwoods, 120 centimeter for softwoods and others are 180 centimeters are felled. So what we'll have, we'll have a view from the top. For example, this is the entire forest. Tropical rainforest, the view will become like this. So the light has gone inside now. The light it is giving the light. You also call a word called sieve without blanks. Canopy, Andaman canopy lifting system. We say it a sieve without blanks. You can see without blank, there's a sieve. Sieve, you understand? This is a sieve. So sieve without blanks. Let's see, this is sieve without blanks. So what is a picture of a sieve without blanks so that the adequate light is filtered through the canopy and reaches the floor for making establishment of those seedling and saplings. So this light has been admitted here and helping those seedling and sapling to come. This is not over now. This is not over by doing only GBH and felling and this. Now next what we have to do is further canopy lifting system Next step is felling of poles of non-commercial trees. This is us, for example, non-commercial tree. And then girdling of 10 to 20 height of a tree, not needed a seed bearer. Some way we don't need this blue color. We don't need this one. So these are the poles of non-commercial timber. You feel it is non-commercial. So why will keep? This is also of no use. We'll do it, sell it all. We can use as a fuel wood. Felling of poles of non-commercial trees. This is us, for example, non-commercial tree. And then girdling of 10 to 20 height of a tree, not needed a seed bearer. So then secondly, I told you, we'll girdle. Girdle, you understand, this is a bark. If this is a bark here, we'll remove the bark from the outside and the cambium. So it dies slowly, slowly. It dries up. It is called girdling. So two things we'll be doing. Girdling of 10 meter height, not needed and felling of the poles of non-commercial. We'll do like this. This is a girdling. This is called girdling. Remove the bark and cambium. So it will dry up slowly, slowly. So what we do here? Further, we what we do? Felling of poles of non-commercial and then girdle the trees like this we'll do. So after girdling, this again light has, we, this, there was no regeneration here. Light has come out. Now new regeneration will come here. Okay. And then we girdle this tree. Girdling, it will dry. So there will be no crown here. So it will help the light to enter here. So this will be the condition. Now, during March, April, what we will be doing after completion of these two operations, as I told you of non-commercial and that girding, a general burning of slash here, you will collect where no regeneration is there. All those uh, after harvesting lot of uh, branches, uh, twigs will be there. You will burn it. That's called prescribed burning. Okay. Then uh, if there is some advanced growth, please don't do burning here. Okay. So this operations will be doing see burning will be doing where we feel that there is no regeneration we will do burn that area okay then after burning we what we will be doing where the advanced growth or the seed bearer are considered insufficient so there is insufficient where we feel there is no seedling sapling which then will collect those seeds of commercial which you want that commercial very good uh, uh, species those seeds we will do broadcasting see we will broadcast see, throw the seeds here there in the april before the rains come and as the rain will come now you see the entire area where you have done sieving light is coming full of the seedlings will be coming up these seedlings will be coming up and now the work is not finished here because the floor is stocked with new seedlings and the weed will also will be there. So that has to be taken up again. All the, as the rain starts, the floor, floor is stocked with new seedlings. Weeding done and all unwanted growth or those which we have girdled that time we have to fell it. So this is the operations here we'll do. 
clamber cutting, weeding, we will do in the first, second and third year. Because the floor is stocked with new seedlings and the weed will also will be there. So that has to be taken up again. All the, as the rain starts, the floor, floor is stocked with new seedlings. Weeding done and all unwanted growth or those which we have girdled that time we have to fell it. So this is the operations here we'll do. Clamber cutting, weeding, we'll do in the first, second and third year. As I told you, in the first year we do three weedings. In the second year we do two weedings. In the third year we do one weeding. So this operations has to be done here. After doing this operation, um, my our first thinning will be on the sixth year. Okay, then second thinning will go on 15th year, third and followed by 30th, right? 15th year we can see here we have done canopy lifting. Then we have done broadcasting where there were no regeneration. We have done control burning also where there were no regeneration. If there was some regeneration, we helped the light to come. After that rains, weeding and everything, weed has come out. Competition has started. You have to do weeding here. After weeding here and then we start, they will grow up nicely to some of the pole stage. Then this pole stage can be further helped by removing some of more trees and you can see the growth goes on and they want more and more light and then this uh, removing of unwanted, uh, what do you say, competition. So weeding has been done and all unwanted growth is felled in the third, sixth year followed by climber cutting. So that operations after your canopy lifting, after your uh, prescribed burning, after your broadcast of uh, seeds in that area where there were no seedlings and then you start doing the weeding operations as a tending operation, climber cutting so that it helps your seedling to go for a sapling stage and a sapling to a pole stage and further we go on thinning from 6 year then 15 year 30 year 50 year those trees are keep on growing and ultimately they become a mature tree to be harvested with a clean bowl and a quality timber so that's what the canopy lifting system as i told you the sieve without blank it is a bit a complex system but this is a system which is a successful in all tropical rainforest Thank you very much for watching this lecture and uh, I hope the shelter wood system has been completed here with Indian irregular shelter wood system. Keep watching. Namaste.